Hi, welcome back to Cooking with the Cripple. I'm your host, the Cripple. And today we are going to be making stuff that you can make within five minutes, maybe maybe ten, depending on how you cook, but like these are really simple recipes that anybody really can do. You just need um basic stuff. Like the first recipe I'm gonna show you is basically just scrambled eggs. Like um you just need um you just need eggs, some pepper. Some people put salt in their eggs. I do not. I do not like that. So, just some pepper for me. And yeah, you. you I'm making um. What are they called? Egg egg tacos. There we go. So I will be adding some salsa later on during the preparation, or not the preparation, but the plating portion of it. But as you guys can probably hear just now, but I have greased my pan, just to give it that little bit of flavor, give the eggs that little bit of flavor, and plus this is one of my non-stick pans, but um, I'm just going to be showing you guys stuff that you can do, like, oh, goodness, the my company is going to be over in a minute, I got to do this really fast, so... It's just stuff you can just throw together and be done with. And it's, it can taste amazing and you can make it seem like you took three days to prepare it even though you only took about five minutes. So while that's warming up, we're gonna take our egg and crack it, boom. I like to kind of destroy my eggs just so I can pull them apart but some people destroy them too much and then you got eggshells in your eggs and that's no bueno so um don't mind the mess but we're gonna crack another one I go I like to go with two eggs for every taco because oh jeez um because I just like to stuff the tacos really like it tastes so much better when they're nice and fluffy and delicious. But, um, so we're gonna take our eggs. Uh, let's see if I can show you this without spilling it over. Eh. <laughs> you can tell I'm not very good with two hands. But, we're just gonna add some pepper into that. And I like to go heavy on the pepper because it adds a certain amount of flavor to it without spilling the pep without spilling the pepper. But and then you're just gonna whisk away. But I'm just gonna be making one taco today just to show you guys kind of the basics of what to do. And really, it's just scrambled eggs, like, so, all you really gotta do is make scrambled eggs and heat you up a, um, what's it called, a, a tortilla. But, this isn't going to be as long as my other videos, so, I'm ready, three minutes, okay, maybe it will be. <laughs> but, I'm gonna try and do half videos where I... You can just throw something together, simple and easy. Doesn't take all that long. But, oh, never seen that before. Okay, whatever. But here we go. Didn't take all that long to do this, so that's why I didn't stop recording. But, boom. Yeah, And then, you just move the, I like to move the spatula around in a circular motion. But you can do it however you want to. Because it's your kitchen, so you do it your own way. But, yeah, see, I'm already basically almost done, so this doesn't take all that long. Yeah. 
Be right back. All right, and I'm back. Um, the plating is done. It looks really good, but here's what it looks like. But it's just something easy you can whip up. Like, let's say the kids want something extravagant, but you don't feel like cooking a whole lot today. Whip this up. I guarantee you they'll go crazy for it, because I know I did when I was a kid. I still go crazy for it. But our next recipe is going to be an experimentation for me. But it should go over very smoothly. I'm going to be making a pimento grilled cheese sandwich. Again, just something simple to make. I got my butter right here. I've got my, my pan heating up. And I've got my bread right here. And, oh, and the pimento cheese. That's important. Can't have a pimento cheese sandwich without pimento cheese. Come on now. Stop being difficult. Stop being difficult. Stop it! <laughs> now, you gotta remember to only butter the outside. It keeps it from sticking and turning into a big old mess. So just butter the outside thoroughly. I wouldn't say completely cover it, but at the same time, don't go spare or sparse on it. So, I'd say kind of like that. Like, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll see in post. But, second dab, we'll do... Ba, 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 ba. Oh, that one spread much easier. And sometimes the, um, the butter is a little hard from being in the fridge so you'll have to thaw it out I just remember this one from my cooker or my microwave but whatever works for you but mine always takes 11 seconds then four or 11 seconds then seven seconds then four seconds and then it's perfect it's right where I want it to be it's right at the softness I want it to be at and one more little dab of butter there we go and this is something you can make within three to four minutes. Like, the only part that really takes up a lot of time is um, cooking it, really. Like, you gotta make sure the cheeses are all melted. And then make sure your crusts aren't burnt. So, then, next, gotta get your spatula. With my spatula. <laughs> Where's my spatula go? Uh, be right back. Get you a spatula, which I had to find, I'm sorry. But here we go. And then you're just basically gonna construct the sandwich like how you would a, um, what's it called? A grilled cheese sandwich. You just construct it as is. And then brand new packet of pimento cheese. And this is actually a new pimento cheese that I have yet to try, so we'll see how it turns out. This is all just one big, big experiment to me. Alright, one. Two. Oh. Hang on, be right back. And I'm back. I'm sorry, I had to clean something up. I forgot something else in the other room. But, here we go. Flip that around. Nope, don't flip that around. Boom. Done and done. And then we're going to wait one minute for the clock to change. Because I told you yesterday that I liked um, even numbers, meaning even zero numbers. So 10 o'clock, 10, 10, all that stuff. And then, we're not going to let this cook too much, because then it'll start to burn, and this isn't burning with the cripple. That's, that's a different show. Completely different show. I like the guy, but completely different show. <laughs> but, this looks really good. Get that out of there. And then, come on now. There we go. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, it would help if the burner was on. <laughs> but I would cook this at about a medium. And while that's cooking, you can do yourself a favor and... What was that? Oh, from my other setup, okay. Um, but while you're doing that, you can do yourself a favor and clean up the messes that you make while it's cooking. It won't take but three or four minutes, I think. So, and then I have one more recipe to show you guys. So, how you doing? <laughs> But I decided to wear a hat today because I just not got out of bed, but my hair's not cooperating with me. So I just said, forget it. I'm going to tame it with the hat trick. Maybe turn it up to high. So that way I'm not lying when I say it takes three to four minutes. Check this bad boy out. Okay. Has just started, but we'll get back to you when it's doing something. See ya. Okay, I'm back, and my house might be smoking a little bit, but that's okay. It's my first grilled cheese. Ouch, ouch. But wow. <laughs> but maybe not as long as I thought it would take, but. I'm back, but as you can tell, <laughs> sometimes that happens in cooking and it can't be helped, so that's okay. I'll just make sure to get the good, the good side. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. It was only one more minute. I let it cook for one more minute than I needed to. But that's okay, it's no big deal. This is actually my first attempt at this sandwich, so I expected to burn it, so I'm not really that upset at it. I mean, I'm upset, I'm upset that I humiliated myself, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but remember, always watch your food. But I will be right back, I gotta go turn the TV off. My fish are probably not happy with me right now because I'm burning their house down. <laughs> but always have preparations done. That's tip number what? Don't be stupid. Uh, you can get a little messy. I just said one this morning and then this is tip number four. We're on tip number four. But I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Needless to say, watch your stuff. <laughs> but there was one more recipe. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Jeez. Jeez, I'm crow. Jim Crow. <laughs> I don't know. I remember hearing something about that, but... In case you wanted to see the don't what don't do. Ow! Oh, that's hot. But you probably can't see it even. <laughs> but here we're, we'll take it over to the table together. Boom! That's the plating so far. I think I did better on the eggs. What do you think? Oh! Oh! I remember now. I'll be right back. I gotta go prep something and put away stuff. So, I'll see you in a minute. Alright. So, for this next recipe, what you will need is about one apple's worth of, well, apples, apple wedges, and a pork chop, um, seasoned with adobo, and, um, oh, and the lemon, or not the lemon, um, the... 
what's it called? The apple wedges will be seasoned with um, brown sugar and uh, nutmeg. But not enough to make caramel. Because I did that yesterday and it didn't turn out so good. <laughs> you don't want to make caramel. You want to... You want to be able to just barely... Well, yeah, you want to make caramel, but you want to caramelize the... Um... The apples. I don't know why that's such a difficult word for me to remember lately. But... We're going to throw this on for about... First off, we're going to... Take that off. There we go. Um... That was just a bunch of fat, so... We're going to cook this bad boy for about, I'd say, three minutes... Three minutes on each side, and remember what I said yesterday, don't be stupid. Ow! But... And then you throw, throw in the apples. Make sure not to melt the bag, because that'd be stupid. <laughs> I didn't melt the bag, I promise. But... So let that all simmer and cook and do all that good stuff together. And I'm sorry if my um, vocabulary for cooking isn't up to speed, but I didn't study um, cooking, so I don't know all the terminology. But we're just going to watch this for about three to four minutes on each side. Got our trusty spatula right here. <laughs> you can tell I was reaching for it. But we're just gonna watch this for a little while. And then when it's time to flip, you flip. Alright. Alright, so I just flipped it, and this is what it looks like on that side. It looks so good. But I'll see you guys when it's time to flip again, and then I'll show you all three products right next to each other. And the burnt sandwich actually tastes a lot better than it looks. So, that's how my cooking generally turns out. It tastes better than it looks, and yeah. But, if you burn your sandwich, that's okay. You can work around it, it's okay. But we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, it's time to plate this final one it's a little pink but that's okay I meant the bone not the meat I, I know the meat's supposed to be cooked all the way through so there's a little pink um dye or whatever from the packet or the napkin thing in there so that's okay it can be washed off but all done and then I will show you all three products so just give me one moment to put that down. Um, get all this out of the way and it's not a fire safety hazard anymore. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body right. But here is all three products starting from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, do all that garbage, and if you want me to do any sort of other recipe, please leave a comment, and do you like my shirt? Do you even roll, bro? <laughs> but send me suggestions for um, recipes you guys want to see me do, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little while, but peace out, and have a good day.